Hey, what's going on? This is Decide and Do 155, and I want to talk about something uh, that is important for every single one of us to understand when it when we look at life and when we look at our goals and we look at what we want to do, and that's the return on our investment. So if you are not invested in whatever you're doing and you don't invest the time into whatever it is that you're trying to do, the return is not going to be there. Uh, the, the basic example, you know, say that you don't think that you're physically fit in the way that you want to be and you go to the gym for a week straight and all of a sudden you're like, you know, I just, I'm not seeing results. No, really. Like, yeah, you're not seeing results because you've been going to the gym for a week. You, you haven't even been invested enough in the process to see the results that you're thinking of already. You're thinking of people's like picture in their mind of what they want and their return is, you know, six months, a year, two years, five years outward. And I mean, consistent in the gym, doing what they're supposed to, you know, proper exercise, proper diet, the, the whole nine using supplements, not using supplements, whatever it may be. But the investment has to be there first for you to ever see any type of return. So if you go to the gym for a week and you're like, dang, I just, I'm really not seeing it, it's because you're not supposed to see it yet. Like there's nothing there for you to see by going there for a week other than maybe some soreness that you feel. If you go to the gym for six months straight, you should start seeing some type of return. You should start seeing some type of change. You should start feeling different. But if you haven't done that, it's not consistent and it's not in a no like a honest assessment of yourself and realizing that your investment is either there or it's not there, then you're not going to see the results that you're thinking of in your head and you're looking for overall. It's the same type of thing when you're when you're investing. Okay, well, if you say you put money away and you're investing in a specific thing and you invest in something that's a high risk, well, guess what? There's a high risk that you might lose that money. And people are like, oh, well, well I, you know, I invested and I, I no, you, you, in some ways, some of you just throw money away. If you look at gambling as an investment, well, you're definitely throwing money away. Uh, for Unless you are a, a professional player where you somehow have in your mind uh, figured out all, all the different scenarios where you're not going to lose money. But when you're talking about this basic investment and you're talking about the return and you're, you're thinking about what you should be seeing, well... There has to be time that goes into it. There has to be that actual investment of your time, of your effort, of your energy. Because if you don't invest in yourself and you don't invest in yourself in the right way, you're not going to see the return in the way that you want to, the way that you think. If you go to school and you slack off, but you're like, you know what? Well, I'm going to school and I'm, I'm getting decent grades. You know, I failed a couple classes here, but I'm, I'm sticking with it, right? Are you going to graduate? Maybe. But how long do you want to go ahead and be spending taking the class after class because you failed a class and then you failed another class? The investment has to be there. You have to think about that because what you're going for is the return, right? If you're going to college, you're going for some type of degree. That's the return. And then it's not just that. That is not just the return in itself. That is the beginning of the return. But then what can you do with that degree? What can you take that degree and move on for? If you're trying to apply for different you know, uh, jobs and one of the prereqs is you have to have a bachelor's degree, well, you're trying to get that degree Right, So you're investing to get the degree to eventually use the degree to get into something further where then you're seeing an actual return. You're seeing the return because you know maybe the salary is completely different and that is what you're going for. You're looking at what, what that is. You're looking for the monetary value. But if you're not invested in the basics of going to school, the basics of getting that degree, the basics of then using that degree to get a job, the return is not going to be there. And I think that so many individuals just look at it like, well... I did what I was supposed to and I did what other people told me to and I did this and I did that and then I'm just not seeing the return. Yeah, you're not seeing the return because you're not honestly, you're not honestly applying yourself in the ways that you need to. You're not looking at the long run. You're not going after what it is that you're trying to and not only that, but you're not going after it in the way that you know that you really should if you really want that type of investment. If you really want that type of return also. If you go to the gym for a week, you're not going to have any type of return based off the investment. If you go to the gym for a year, you, you're going to have some type of return. The return is going to be there. It's going to be something that not only you can feel, but you can see. So many individuals want to see that return immediately. It doesn't happen that way. Stop thinking it does. Seriously. If not, 
hey, you're going to have this warped sense of what reality is and you're going to continue to live in that and never get outside of your box and never get you know where you want to get. So think about it. Think about it long run. Are you investing in the right ways to get the return that you really want to get? Are you investing how you should to get that return? Until my next video, appreciate you watching. Like it, share it, and as always, feedback. Appreciate it.